What's going on guys? This is Parker, back with another NBA video talking about the NBA, and today I'm feeling a little goofy, and I'm going to be talking about something that's very controversial, but in my opinion, I think it's true. NBA teams should be concerned about drafting Evan Mobley so high in the NBA draft. Now, most mock drafts have Evan Mobley being one through four, you know, in the first round for the pick, and that he won't be available five or later which, in my opinion, is concerning, and NBA teams shouldn't be so quick to draft him so fast. And I'll kind of explain that right after I say his stats. He's averaging 16.4 points, 2.4 assists, 8.7 rebounds, 2.9 blocks on 57.8% from the field shooting, and 30% shooting from 30. Now, those are great numbers. I can't deny that. I'm not saying that he's not a great player. Uh, what I'm saying is, it's a concern that he's not a great shooter. He's 7 feet tall, and obviously, like I said, 30% from 3 on one attempt. He's basically not shooting 3s. He's made a couple, but nothing to really write home about. He's not a great shooter, and maybe he can improve in the future and prove me wrong, but at the end of the day, NBA centers are plentiful in the NBA. You can get an amazing backup center in the NBA, and it won't cost you anything, except maybe a veteran minimum contract. So there's that. There's plenty of centers they could get that would be more of an immediate impact than Evan Mobley, most likely. His shooting concerns are a problem because we're in the current day NBA. Everyone can shoot the basketball. Every single player can shoot the basketball for the most part. There's a couple players who don't. But then the day, the most elite players in the NBA can shoot the three ball at any time and there's a major reason for that because that's how the nba is going now if i had to compare evan mobley to a past nba player there's one player that sticks out farther than all the other players and that's hashim to beat now if you're a young guy or haven't watched the nba for that long that name does not sound familiar to you but let me just explain who he is and why i compare him so much to evan mobley so, he played in UConn for three years, so he wasn't a one-and-done like Evan Mobley. But let me just get to it. He's seven feet, seven foot three, so he's very freakishly tall and had a massive wingspan just like Evan Mobley. Uh, his junior year, like I said, averaged 13.6 points, 0.5 assists, 10.8 rebounds, 4.2 blocks, and shot 64% from the field, didn't shoot any three-pointers. So, same thing as Evan Mobley. He was an elite rim protector, 4.2 blocks. He was a better rim protector, better rebounder at 10.8, and shot better from the field at 64%. Now, Hashim Tabit was drafted second overall, I believe, in like 2010, 2009. It's a while ago by the Grizzlies. And if you know Hashim Tabit, you know that his NBA career was very forgetful, and he was considered one of the biggest busts in NBA history. Uh, his rookie year for the Grizzlies, he averaged 3.1 points, 3.6 rebounds, and 1.3 blocks. Now, those aren't terrible for a young rookie to come into the NBA because you expect him to improve. The problem is with Hashim Tabit, those were the best stats of his career. His rookie year, averaging 3 points and 3 rebounds as the second overall pick. Those were the best stats he ever had. That is terrible. He only had a four-year career as well, which is, again, absolutely terrible. The fact that he's a number two pick and did nothing in the NBA, and that's why teams should be concerned about Evan Mobley. They have a very similar play style. Very tall seven-footers who can score at the rim easily and elite rim protectors but don't have an amazing jump shot. You know, yes, Evan Mobley and Hashim Tabi can shoot from the mid-range, but it's the current day NBA. Mid-range is dead. It's all about three-point shots. If you're not shooting a three, you better be going to the rim. And like I said, NBA centers are plenty full. There's no reason to draft a center so high in the draft. Now, do I think a guy at 6, 8, 10 should draft uh, Evan Mobley? 100% yes. Because obviously he has a high ceiling, but the talent that I explained with the stats, and he played amazing at USC in March Madness and in the regular season. But in my opinion, it's not worth doing a top five pick. We've seen so many centers turn out to be bust in the NBA who had high potential. 
Obviously, Darko Melichick. I'm a Pistons fan. He was drafted second overall. He sucked fucking ass. One of the worst busts in NBA history. Like I said, Hashim to beat. One of the worst busts in NBA history. Dragon Bender, which is the coolest name ever, but was also an NBA draft bust drafted fourth by the Suns. Marvin Bagley. He's not a bust, but he was drafted second overall before Luka Doncic and Trey Young. You know, stop drafting these centers so early in the draft who don't have a consistent jump shot. It is the current day NBA. If they can have a consistent jump shot or can be super dominant in the paint, like elite level, then draft them. Like if you got the next Shaq and he can't shoot three pointers, it doesn't matter. You need to be extremely dominant on offense if you want to be a center who can't shoot. Now, obviously, like I said, he shoots 30% on one attempt. So he shows he has potential. So I will give him that as shooting the three-point ball. The only problem is Marvin Bagley showed potential from shooting from three. And he hasn't been doing that amazing. Yes, he's had some good games here and there. But then, day, no one can look at the Kings with a straight face and say that was a better pick over Luka Doncic and Trey Young. So that, in my opinion, is why teams should worry about Evan Mobley. Yes, he has a high ceiling. Yes, he has a lot of talent. By then day, is he just going to be another one of those centers who doesn't do anything on the offensive side? Is just a good rim protector and is not in the NBA for that long. Let me know what you guys think. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I make NBA videos all the time, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Peace.